make to order, or MTO. This strategy is adopted by companies to produce products on the basis of firm orders by customers. While this is true, but the question is, what if the company doesn't have sufficient firm orders from customer, will this mean idling of available manufacturing resources? We shall answer this by looking at some examples. Let us now look at a car manufacturing company. Though not limited, but typical source of requirements, demand for such a company emanates from dealer networks, as these are mostly sold through such networks. Direct customers with bulk orders, such as government bodies, large corporates, public transport agencies, etc. International demands. And finally, forecasted demand. Now, in such cases, the company has both firm as well as forecasted orders or demand. These companies thus has a mixed strategy of both MTO and MTS to satisfy both nature of demand and accordingly thus balance their production levels. Now, let us look at the mobile manufacturing companies, which we discussed earlier. Here too we discussed about seasonal trends and producing products to meet the forecast. Now, supposing this mobile manufacturer also sells its products online, say example, Amazon, Flipkart, or its own platform, besides its retail outlets. This company knows the average of take of its product from the online shopping outlet, which gives the company an average order size. Now, the company also has historical data of offtake of its product, including the surge in festive season. Based on the historical data, the company estimates the forecasted orders and then prepares itself, say one quarter ahead, and plans production ahead accordingly. This is considered as make to order MTO, while actually it is make to stock MTS. We thus find that depending on prevailing situations, companies do adopt both MTO as well MTS strategies to ensure demands are met, as well the manufacturing resources remains utilized with generally steady levels of production. Note. However, MTO strategy is primarily driven by confirmed customer orders and has given rise to the concept of mass customization wherein the product is customized to meet specific customer specifications. Supposing, if you buy a car with one specification, another customer can buy the similar car of different specification. MTO is a pull-type production mode, where demand in the form of an order triggers production 